be focusing in on motherboards. I want to talk to you guys about all these little plug-in spots down here at the bottom of the board. You know, a lot of the cases come with a lot of extra stuff that plugs in down here and you may not know where all that goes so I want to talk to you all about that today too. Regardless of what type of power supply you have whether it be a nice one, a medium one, or a cheap one they all come with five standard plugs. A 24 pin you have your CPU which is an 8 but it can be broken into a 4 and then you have your GPU that can be a 6 and turned into an 8. And then there's Molex and of course there's SATA. So you have your 5. SATA, Molex, 24 pin, CPU, and then GP GPU. So here's a power supply and you're looking at the specs and you're going, I don't understand anything that I am looking at. Just know, look at this number right here, right in the max output current, right underneath the 12 volt rail. If that number is a 24 or higher, then it is a decent and good enough power supply for you to use. So if you look at your motherboard, you'll see that you have all of these extra headers down here. The obvious is this four pin fan header. That's an obvious. And then usually your power grid or your power plugs, like the one that you'll hook your power to, which will be usually in this square black box. It always usually has this cover box around it, okay? And then when you look at your chart, on the bottom down there, there'll be this little chart. It's real hard to see. It'll say that there's power here and negative here. Well, try it. Put the positive here, put the negative there. Try to turn it on, see what happens. The worst that's going to happen, guys, is that it won't turn on. You're not going to hurt anything down here by miswiring it, okay? You're not going to hurt it. Second of all, if you look, all of them are keyed. See how they have like gaps in the top here? Right, there's a plastic box around the pins and then it has like a cutout. Well, that's called keyed, meaning that you're only gonna be able to plug something in there one way. And that's really gonna help you. Also, if you notice like right here, see how there's only there's only one, two, three, four. There's only four pins at the bottom and there's five pins at the top. That, whatever plug that will fit, that space will be missing. And that will leave you a clue to what's going to go there. Here, these type, those are your RGB headers. If you're not doing any type of RGB syncing, you don't need to mess with those. Your most common one is that one right there. That's your USB 3.0 cable. Okay, that's where that one will go. That right there is your most common. I'm trying to hook up these to the front. First of all, I don't recommend that you use the front I.O. Always use the back I.O. It's way better and way faster. But if you want to use the front I.O., you will have to plug up these, all of these cables. See, I don't use mine. That's why I bundle them up and zip time together. If you look like how I was saying this one right here, you see how it's keyed? There's four at the bottom and five at the top and then there's a blank spot there. So this would plug in where I just showed you where I was just talking about, that would plug in there. This is your obvious, this is your USB 3.0. Okay, see how once again it has that notch and it has a pin layout and then there's a one missing at the very end of the pin right there. So if you're not sure, here you can come around. Let's see here. And look at your, let's see here, let me get the camera to focus. Look at your USB 3 header right there. You can see that there is one missing at the top, just like it was on that header. And plus, it's been grooved right there, okay? So I'm going to show you all real quick how to hook it up.
These are your three main USB headers that are going to come in all of cases. Your USB 3.0, this is your USB 2.0 which goes to all of your USB drives at the top. And then the blue drives at the top go to this one. And then this is your audio. This will allow you to plug in your headphones or a microphone in the top part of your I.O. So you're wondering how am I going to hook this up? Where do these go? Well, if you look here, you notice that these are all keyed. See how they're different? This one has a square blank right here, and then this one has a square blank up here. So these are only going to fit in one way. B headers, see how they're blue? Okay, those are your USB 3.0s, all right? Any of your USB headers that are blue like that are USB 3, okay? If they're black, then they're 2.0s. So we're going to hook up our two USB 3.0 cables right here with this cable right here. This is what will give those power. We'll plug in right there. And then you just give it a good push in and that's where that goes. These right here are a little bit more trickier, but also very simple. If you look on the, on the actual motherboard, right up underneath all of those headers, Right up underneath all of these headers will say a name. It'll say USB 2, USB this, da 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 da. USB 2.0 cable will go into the USB 2.0 slot, which will be this header right here. It'll usually say USB 2.0. And if you're not sure, check out the grid pin. See how many are at the top row and see how many are at the bottom row and match that up with this. If you get four at the bottom and five at the top, well then you are correct. So you will just want to plug it in and usually the, the pins will shine up and you just give it a good push and there you have it. It is in. There you go, plugged in, good. All right, now for your audio, Usually it's located by the audio chipset on your motherboard, which is in the back, back here. So this will usually plug in down here where it says audio. Your audio is hooked up. Your USB 2.0 is hooked up. Your USB 3.0 is also hooked up. Found that the hardest part to wire up is the power switch because you don't know which pin is which. But like I said, if you just look for the black, the big black box, that will usually house all of them for you. But you just gotta look for the power one. And just, the problem is, is that I can't tell you how to do it because every motherboard is different, all right? And they all have different pin layouts. But the USB 2.0, and the audio header is usually always the same type. They might be located differently on your board, but they're usually always at the bottom. And like I said, and they're usually always keyed to fit one way and only one way. So with that being said, I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like. If y'all have any questions or comments, let me know, tell me what you think. Side note, this came today. I thought I would show this to you guys. Check this out. Now, I was kind of deceived a little bit though by it. Check it out. What do y'all think? So, it's an aluminum base, right? With a pump inside with an inlet, an outlet, and a fill. And it has this green dye in it it looks maybe black light reactive I'm not sure a G14 thread um, looking at the pictures but I was absolutely wrong when you pull that off it's just a little plastic barb fitting there so I'm not sure what to do with it now uh, I only paid about 10 bucks for it though so but yeah I thought I would just show that to you guys